San Diego reaches a new grim milestone of more than 2,000 COVID-19 deaths and more than 240, 204,000 cases since the start of the pandemic. As News 8's Alicia Summers shows us, these numbers are much more than a statistic. The grim local milestone of more than 2,000 deaths comes as the new virus variant is picking up steam and unfortunately, this is hurting the Latinx community more. 2,005 people have died of COVID-19 in San Diego County since the pandemic began, and the Latino community is being disproportionately affected. Infection rates amongst Latinos here in San Diego County was um, about 63%. Um, and then deaths were about 50%. Now those both of those numbers have decreased a little bit in terms of percentages, but they're still very, very high and disproportionate when you consider that Latinos make up 34% of the population here in San Diego County. And Latinas are affected even more. You know, I think it's because of the responsibilities that, that Latinas have in terms of taking care of the family, and that doesn't go away even if they have symptoms or they're not feeling well. There is a real story behind every single one of those numbers. Like the Dotinga's family story. This is affecting more and more families each day, and it's coming closer and closer to all of us. Randy sees more than just a 2005 death toll statistic. COVID took his father, Ralph Dotinga's life right before Christmas. The 85 year old survived two heart attacks, one cardiac arrest, a quadruple bypass, diabetes and crippling falls, but not COVID. The most important pre-existing condition was that he was alive. And thanks to the pandemic, He's not alive. The CDC is now warning the new more contagious virus variant first identified in Britain could fuel huge spikes in COVID cases and is expected to spread wildly and lead to further strains in our already overburdened healthcare system. We each play a role when we decide not to wear a mask, when we decide to get together with friends, and it, every single time we do that, we're contributing to these numbers. The grim local milestone comes as the CDC says the new virus variant of COVID-19 is projected to become the dominant source of infection in the U.S. by March.